what, what the lady is talking about. What's up, family? Gwinnett police are searching for a woman who robbed a Beaufort, Georgia bank after the teller refused her request to withdraw over $13,000. Police say the woman approached a teller at Chase Bank and asked to withdraw $13,564 from her account. The teller asked for her driver's license, debit card, and phone number. The woman became agitated when the teller attempted to scan her California driver's license and told her the phone number did not match the information on her bank account profile. When the teller refused her request for a cash withdrawal, the mask bandit held onto a glass partition and jumped over the counter. Once on the other side of the counter, she grappled with a teller who was on the phone with Gwinnett police. But that's not all. She grabbed a pair of scissors and pried open a cash box and allegedly stole $750. Then she made her way toward the door. There was a little confusion at first. She's trying to get out and she finally escaped through a side door. Investigators are hot on the trail. I doubt if they're hot on the trail, but they're gonna be looking for her because has she robbed a, you know, I don't know, ice cream store or, you know, mom and pop burger place? No big deal. Even if it wasn't a mom and pop burger place, it could be a franchise, no big deal. But when you start messing with that money, that Fed money, they're going to use all resources. They're going to get them. They're going to get them. I mean, uh, probably by the time I post this video, by the time y'all see this video, they'll probably have them because ain't no way they're going to let her make it. And plus, you know, you could tell by her uh, disposition, you know, she has certain body build and her whole face wasn't covered and the way she talked, you know, it's a big story. It's a viral story. So I'm sure somebody over there giving her up. The question is, why? Why? She had to be scamming or something. And she didn't want them to have that. She didn't want to leave them with that identification. It had to be something along those lines. But like I say, she became agitated when they tried to scan her ID. So that makes me think that perhaps, not perhaps, makes me think that the ID was fake and it would not have passed the smell test. Now here's the crazy thing. When this, when this story first came out, a lot of blogs were reporting that the story, they were reporting the story as the woman uh, became upset when they tried to keep her deposit uh, and put it towards overdraft fees. Now, when I first heard that, I was like, yeah, I can see somebody being mad about that, you know? Imagine having your money, you thinking you got money, right? And you go there and you got overdraft fees, they don't tell you, and you go to deposit your money and they keep all your, keep all your bread. But she was trying to withdraw over $13,000. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to speculate. There's so many things could, yeah, that could be uh, so many. You know what? Let me give it a shot. Okay. It could be a situation where, where she was, you know, using the money, scamming in some kind of way. Uh, she got the money by, you know, got the money in a crafty type manner or whatever. And, you know, the bank account wasn't all the way legit because there's no way you go in and you steal $750 and 
and you got th over $13,000 in the bank. You don't rob the bank, you know. Uh, and even if you're a real customer, like, so, so perhaps it was somebody else's account and she was, you know, pretending to be that person. And maybe this is what emboldened her to make her think she could get away with robbing a bank. Because if she was indeed a real customer, then they would have all the information that they need to track her down. And they didn't put her face out there with a name. So that tells me that perhaps she's not an authentic customer. Perhaps, you know, she had a little funny business going on or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's hard to say what exactly was going on, but what is in a person's mind to jump over the counter and actually pry open a cash box and take money from the bank. Even if you are trying to scam, you know, most scammers are just, okay, you're trying to hold on to my ID, you want to scan it, they gone. Or, you know, just go ahead and scan it. All right, give it back. You know it ain't going to work, so give it back. Like most scammers are just, you know, they're going to leave. They're not going to try to rob the damn bank. <sighs> it must be something in the water, fam. How long y'all think it's going to take for them to catch up? I say in less than 48 hours. I think she'll be in custody. You know what? I'm a gambling man. But not the typical type of gambling. I don't gamble for money. But I'll take this gamble. I think they'll have her within 24 hours. But what say you? Three days, a week. She damn sure ain't gonna survive out there for a month. They're gonna have her in custody. But what say you, fam? I don't know. People do a lot of crazy things and sell a lot of crazy things. I mean, she robbed the damn bank. You know, like, ain't no way she getting, getting away with that. And for her not to know that, then somebody would probably say she could be out there for a whole year on the run because, you know, they do make a lot of slow people out there. But hey, you know what I'm saying? Who am I to check? No more talk. What the talking about?